decision obviously worked out big going with Z-Shack and the four out save. Can you kind of take us through your yeah, process? Well, I think uh, Chuck and I have talked about uh, you know that a few times, trying to find the right situation where we could, uh, number one, get him into a game to pitch. And, uh, you know, if that perfect scenario came up, then we would we would use it. And, and uh, <clears throat> so we were kind of preparing for it in, in, in case AJ if we got a couple runners on, and, and uh, we looked at Simmons down there at that, that spot, and, and we said, hey, if we get two outs and him up, that, that, was, uh, that might be a move that we make. So it all sort of came together, and, and uh, it worked out. The fact you had two straight big wins and didn't have to use Steve, did that kind of factor into it as well? Well, we needed to, he needed to pitch. It's been uh, you know, four, four days. I think four days since he's pitched, and uh, so we, we we need to get him in there to pitch. And uh, we talked about this scenario, and, and that if we got into it, that that we weren't afraid to use him. And uh, tonight worked out great for us. Right in the uh, decisive uh, seventh inning, rallying there, the uh, Stan and McGee has just uh, yeah, just uh, not trying to do too much going the other way it's there. Exactly, you, know, you got a big right-hander. Coming out of that bullpen, throwing hard, and uh, he's great at bat by uh, John Carlo. He doesn't hit a ton of balls to second base, but he really stayed on that and, and just drove it. And uh, you get those hits right when, when you're going good, and, and uh, it's it's fun to see guys come up in big situations and, and uh, get big hits. See the excitement, and uh, Casey too got behind on a couple uh, pitches that looked a little bit down, but uh, he didn't get frustrated. He he hung in there, battled made an adjustment, shortened up his swing, and, and you know, punched it in the right. So uh, a few big hits, great plays, nice job pitching. I thought uh, Henderson, uh, his command looked like he was a little shaky there through. But, but at, the, at the end of the day, he gave us a chance to win the ball game. And, and uh, Dunner pitched a nice, clean uh, inning. and, and uh, all worked out tonight. Do you nice, think that nice sweep. You think the play at first uh, maybe affected Alvarez a little yeah. bit because they gave up the home run right after well, that? Well, I, I don't know about that, but I, I think he did. I, I don't know. He was he he, he had mentioned you know, something in his back, tighten it up a little bit, but uh, but then after that he was fine and uh, he uh, you know he gave us the innings that we needed. Those are the first home runs he ever gave up in this ballpark. Yeah. So I just went after us and that. Have been influenced by that player. I, I mean, I don't think so, but you probably have to ask him. But, but uh, I would say he probably just left those pitches up and out over the plate. He was pitching up in the zone today more than he normally does, but uh, you know, still able to keep us in the ball game. Reed Johnson continues to hit. Can you talk about just kind of how big he's been to have as a veteran off the bench? Well, he's, I got a lot of confidence in, in him uh, coming off the bench in any situation, righty, lefty. Tonight uh, it worked out perfect where we, we got, uh, like I said, I, I mean, I feel like he's going to get on base or drive a run in uh, any situation that I put him in. And, and tonight that was perfect to get him. And that was a big, uh, big at bat to get on base there and give us a chance. Where did you get this sweep? I mean, first place team getting a long home stand. <coughs> Imports of that one. Well, it's huge. It's huge for us. And, uh, like I said, we've we've had some uh, a few rough goes on the road where we lost some some uh, late inning games, and and uh, this is a this is a, a special group. Man, these guys just keep battling and keep pushing forward and keep moving on, and, and they are really picking each other up, playing with a lot of energy out there. It's fun to uh, sit there and watch them talk and, and communicate and, and try to figure out how to win a ball game. And uh, we got some big hits, we got some big pitching. And we're playing good defense, so definitely uh, a nice uh, sweep. It's tough to sweep teams, and uh, especially a team that I don't think we've swept since 06. At home, since 06. Hey, Brad, there was, I guess, some rumblings over there. They think that you all might be stealing signs. Oh. Uh, well, well, Park swept them? <laughs> I think it was even more. <laughs> You're hitting the ball well, I guess, so they're maybe a little incredulous at that. Well, yeah, I mean. You just give us a little credit. <laughs> you haven't heard anything like that at all? I haven't heard anything, but yeah. I mean, we're, we're out there playing. We're out there playing the game the right way. And 
those guys are battling and, and uh, compete. That's how we're winning all games. How did you feel to be to have even that insinuation come up? I mean, how did you feel? I mean, uh, I, I actually I don't even really think much about it because it's not, my focus is on our guys and my team and, and what we're doing. And uh, we just played a, a great three-game series, and I'm not going to let anything diminish that. And uh, we're going to enjoy that tonight, and then we're going to try to get, beat the Dodgers tomorrow. Well, right. You recovered. You had a good start, and then you, got, then you had a little trouble. I think you were 6-10. and 10. What's it mean to recover from that little bump in the road this early in the season? Well, I think I think guys are settling in. And, and uh, you know, there's definitely some adjustments that you have to make throughout the course of the season. There will be adjustments that we'll have to make in, you know, probably month to month uh, throughout the whole season. And, and uh, but uh, you know, we brought in a lot of uh, new faces here, and I think anytime you bring in guys, it takes a little bit for, for everybody to do, adjust. I think the, the pitching for guys to kind of settle in to, to their situations, their roles, for the starting pitching to get a couple turns through the rotation to kind of get that comfort level, and I think you're kind of you're you're seeing that now, where guys are, are confident, they're they've settled in and now it's really just about competing and, and trying to win ball games. Right, how about the job that you guys uh, have done with Freddie Freeman so far, not just this series, but uh, in Atlanta too. I think it's 0 for 24 now, about nine punch well, outs. We've, we've, we've pitched him tough and, and uh, you talk about the, their lineup, you saw it tonight. I mean, these guys can put a, put a big number up quick. They got a lot of power. You got to really execute your pitches and keep the ball down. And, uh, or they're gonna, you know, they're gonna rough you up. And, and like I said, uh, the biggest thing is just to, to limit walks and and, uh, and be careful with, the, with that top of the order because they can do a lot of damage. So a lot of credit to our pitchers uh, keeping those guys uh, off the bases and, and giving big outs when we need.